or the GC strategies, why not, instead of this instance or any of the instances of the prior eight years for the incredible amount of over $250 million, did that not become a standardized practice? Um, thank you for the question. I, I can't speak to why and, and the vast number of IT projects that the Government of Canada said that it hasn't been there, but I can assure you that as we go forward, this is something that we're taking on in terms of better practice and best practice for managing IT projects in the future. Thank Where you. was the breakdown Th in your mind, Mr. Mr. McCall? I'm afraid that, that is your time, but thank you very much. Um, being our, our second round, and just for witnesses, uh, there's six questionnaires per round. Um, Mr. Brock, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Thank you, Chair, and uh, good morning to the witnesses, and thank you for your attendance. To PSPC uh, representatives, uh, your Deputy Minister, Ariane Reza, was appointed November 2nd of 2023. Prior to that, she was the Assistant Deputy Minister. Beginning in August of 21, she was the senior official responsible for federal procurement. She oversaw 1,400 employees in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. She led the urgent procurement of critical goods and services to ensure the health and safety of Canadians involving vaccines and surrounding protective equipment. She directed the development and implementation for the simplification of procurement practices. These efforts focused on building an accessible procurement system that drives value for money. Her DNA was all over the issues that we are studying today and have studied literally for the last couple of months. Why isn't she here? Thank you for the question. Um Mr. Chair, uh, she had pre-planned leave for this week, and she's not available this week. Otherwise, she she and we were, was originally scheduled to be here last week, and the, the meeting was changed, so she was unfortunately unable to. Okay, thank you, Chair. I look forward to uh, a further invite to uh, to Ms. Reza to attend uh, this particular committee to answer some uh, relevant questions surrounding uh, these concerns. Now, on the bait and switch, to you, Mr. Mills. You've <clears throat> identified an understanding of bait and switch as presented uh, by my colleague, Ms. Block. I want to do a little more pushback because prior to, uh, to Ms. Block bringing to your attention the real entity behind GC Strategies and the business that they are in, you repeatedly used the phrase, well, they've been in you know, several government contracts providing IT services. That is so inaccurate. The... Uh, directors of GC Strategies themselves, the principals behind it, Christian Firth, made it abundantly clear on numerous occasions they have no expertise in IT. They are simply an external consultant who contracts with the Government of Canada to find IT professionals, which is really an offensive, offensive move particularly when you take a look at the size of the federal public service that Justin Trudeau has increased by 40 percent since 2015. Last year, in, sorry, last week uh, at the Ethics Committee, we heard from Jennifer Carr, the president of the Professional Institute of the Public Service of Canada, who oversees our professional IT federal public servants, and they are rightly angered very angry at the Government of Canada for simply bypassing their skills, their expertise in-house. You're certainly aware of that, are you not, Mr. Mills? Um, thank you for the question, uh, Mr. Chair. I am, I'm aware that there is a debate about what is the capability of IT workers in the government. Um, again, in the use of external resources, Many dialogues we've had with very depart various departments have indicated that there are lots of times when there are very specific skill sets that just aren't available within the public service. GC Strategies has no skills. There is nothing preventing from the government of Canada with this massive federal public servants to actually do Google searches on their own to find IT professionals. Why is it a two-person company working out of their basement, is allowed to collect $20 million over the course of three years for doing absolutely nothing. If we were talking to professionals from the private sector right now, people would be fired for this. There would be accountability 
for this gross breach of the public trust. And I ask, I'm going to ask this question because I bet no one at the PSPC has been suspended with or without pay. Is that correct? Um, thank you for the question, um, Mr. Chair. I'll start with um, the first part about the use of external consultants is also used in the private sector. And I would note, we, I will acknowledge that GC Strategies, the two principles of the company, are, are their business model is to make available IT professionals. Move on. Now, on the issue of bait and switch, okay, we've identified ahead. criminality, we've identified fraud, forgery, obstruction of justice, breach of trust by government officials, all, all, all surrounding the use of GC strategies and the contracting practices. Have you reported anything to the RCMP at this point? And why not if you haven't? Thank you for the question, uh, Mr. Chair. I'll turn to my Assistant Deputy Minister of the Oversight Branch. Thank you for the question, Mr. Chair. Uh, we're taking all the reports that we're getting very seriously. So we had access to 